Alright girl, here's your first present. Girls, girls, settle down. Christmas is not about presents. It's not because I always thought it was. Yeah, me too. I agree with Scarlett. Girls, I'm going to tell you a story. And I don't think you've ever heard this story. It's called Twelfth the Night Before Christmas. Scarlett, Ashley. Come on, Scarlett. Let me tell you a story about Christmas. Would you like that, Scarlett? Do you want me to tell you a true story about Christmas? Yay! Story time! Story time! Calm down, Ashley. Calm down. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, no dogs were barking, not even a Dawson. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that presents would soon be there. Me and Ashley were asleep in our beds, with visions of milk bones stuck in our heads. And Ashley asleep, and me snoring away, we had just gone to sleep, waiting for the next day. When out in the yard arose such a clatter, I got it from my pillow to see what was the matter. Away towards the door I ran like a terrier. I looked through the blinds and looked all around. The stars shined on the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday objects below. When what to my nonsense eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and two tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so small but so quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. And then was a thump I heard on the roof, the waddling and walking of each little paw. As I turned my head and then looked around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He had fur from head down to the paw, and his outfit was tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had right beside him, and he looked like a poodle just opening his pack. The bone he held tight in his teeth, and the beefy smell encircled my nose like a wreath. He had a cute face and a big fat belly that shook when he barked like a bowl full of jelly. He barked not a bark, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his paw right next to his ear, and giving a yipe up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all waddled like little old Dawson's. But I heard him bark when he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Thanks everyone for watching this video, and Merry Christmas.